just pick this up again briefly and I'm I'm sort of on a beach full of white chalky stones and then I come to this one I wonder what this is made of obviously it's stone for uh, sarcastic people within chat but imagine it being some huge meteorite no, for one second to know that, know that it would be but it just seems a bit odd and out of place here amongst all these white stones and it's quite big as you can see I bet it weighs three quarters of a ton but uh, while we're on with that I think, it's, I think it was 1700s at Thwing inland a meteorite landed and uh, Obviously, it's known as the Thwing Meteorite. I think it's in British Museum. It weighed 56 pounds. Or it does weigh. I don't suppose it's lost weight. It's not on a diet. And um, loads and loads of uh, fascinating stories from around Thwing and on the walls. Bridlington Saint, Saint John of Bridlington, was actually from Thwing. John of Thwing, they called him. There's another little bit of... East Yorkshire trivia and uh, I don't know how much further we're going to go because I can't get round point here I don't think and I don't want to to be honest uh, me and uh, the Bobster we will be making tracks back shortly get a bit of breakfast I'm doing a podcast at nine with a young guy from Scarborough James, James Copper and I don't know what we're going to be talking about but uh, He's just started his podcast and asked me if I would uh, come on and talk to him for an hour or so. So yeah, I'm going to do that. We'll get back first and have a bite to eat. Probably pick this up again. But for now, hold on a minute. Just look where water's washed all that earth off the land. There must be hundreds, if not thousands of tons of weight of water behind these cliffs. And that's why we're having these rock falls. So, from me and the maniac, Bobster, what do you say? There he is, I know. Picture of happiness, isn't he? Okay. But I've walked a bit further than I anticipated simply because, and I'm not going to go up to it because well, there's another, it look, don't look that far, but in the distance, there's another probably 30 minutes walking, 20 minutes. But you can, there's literally tons and tons of earth slipped off the cliffs and come down. It just shows why we've got to stick to a safe distance away from edge of cliffs. But we'll head back in a moment. And uh, there he is with his uh, woolen coat on, wet through. What are we doing? Shall we go back? Shall we go back? Shall we go back? Yeah? I think we should. all this earth that's dropped and the bobster that's just enjoying himself and we've walked as far as the lifeboat station at South Landing so we've had a good walk as well as up on the cliff tops last night yeah. it's not work this people I don't find this hard at all I just love it we're only here once so I spend it sat in the house watching TV or laying in bed when you can explore all of this and that lunatic look at that watch him can you see him come on here he comes absolute speed come on let's go back come on let's go back come on Find some mice, yeah? Go on. About finding this here. Bob. Where's it gone? See, I'm turning around constantly. He's at the back of me. Don't leave me alone. He's glued to me. Come on, find it. Fetch him. Find it. 
No, wants to stay with me. As you can see, for the most part, Bobby doesn't leave me. Where is he? There he is. Let's go. Come on. And, uh, we've got a long way back. We're right up there. I say a long way, it's not really in the grand scheme of things. Three quarters of a mile, a mile. Get back. Tea. Bite to eat. Radio podcast. Get on with rest of the day. See what Les is up to. Give him a shout. And uh, yeah. Hi up. Look at that. That's unusual. Don't think he expected that. He's an, now an official aquatic mammal. What do you think, Bob? Come on. It's like flipper. That's better. I think he's a terra firma kind of dog. He's not uh, normally going with water. He tries to avoid it. Come on. Let's jump up here. Years ago, and I'm talking years ago, probably, I don't know, probably 30 years ago, I can't remember exactly, came down to Thornwick Bay with Mary and girls and there'd been a rock fall, cave roof had fell in. It was a cave, if anybody's familiar with Thornwick Bay, it was a cave that sort of loops round and you just go to another little bit of the cove, There's, you can get through to it. You can't get round it, but you can get through via the cave. And there were skeletons of birds, or, or, you know, or the imprint of skeletons of birds in the rocks. We were with uh, another couple and their son, and I found them, but I gave them to him. I should have kept them now, because they've uh, been interesting. It doesn't make me want to walk any closer to these cliffs, just in case there's anything sort of, I don't know, fossilised and trapped in the rock because I'll end up being uh, the next fossil to get trapped in rock knowing my luck. And there are some bits of footage online of these cliffs collapsing from people who've been walking and actually seen it happen. I mean, come here Bob, there there's one that, that looks classic and ready to kind of fall. Let's just hope we're not under it. Okay. Got to return here now again to film. But just simply because we've got the sun just coming up round this corner. I don't know what time it is now. Let's just have a quick look. 6.25. So, uh, and I'm still fascinated by this stone. Simply because it stands out. I'll just come back to it. Oh, Bob's fascinated as well. Did you see that? He's almost a geologist. Seems odd, doesn't it? Just sat out of place. And uh, maybe out of time. There we go. And battery's low on this uh, GoPro, but I do have another battery and another memory card. So, you know, we might pick this up. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's just do a little bit more. Come on, Bob. This way, just kicked a stone, so that's going to occupy him. How is he? This way, come on. Do you wish you had got that much energy? I do. People talk about money. I'm wanting loads of money. I don't want money. I want some years. I'll buy some years. Unfortunately, none of us can. And for all those that are loads younger and sort of grinning at this and thinking, you silly old, you're going to be here one day, mate. So, uh, just smile then when you look back. But to have no complaints, this is all good. Who's there? Come on, Bob. We'll stop now. There's a dog looking up at these seabirds. 
They're nesting up there. I hope they managed to rear the chicks before uh, some of this lot decides it's going to fall. And uh, sunrise at Dane's Dyke. Let's just keep walking. Look at that, you can even, I don't know if you can, but you can even see our shadows in this early morning. I get up and I go on PC early doors because I don't sleep that much. But uh, I like this. Look at how great that is. It's just starting to come up now, look at that. There's the meteor stone in the distance, that's what we'll call it. Even though it's just a bit of black rock. Huge chunk of black rock. Come on, Bob, get going. Find them, get them mice. I don't think he'd know what a mouse was. I took him up to my auntie, she's got a cat. I he found that a bit intimidating. I'll just briefly come back to filming because I want to show you that. World War II pillbox that's literally undermined. There's a huge slab of concrete, its base exposed. And I wonder how long before that ends up down here. You know, it, uh, it is hanging precariously. I'm just keeping an eye on him because he's just decided he likes chasing crows, which are at the edge of the sea probably looking for crustaceans and things and he thinks that's good come on this way this way here come on so just here we go he's going he don't realize but he's going on his lead because i can just see he's got that face on again <laughs> amazing isn't he I'd like another one, but she won't let me. And uh, I suppose it might upset the balance. Because uh, I don't know. He's just brilliant. Oh, and he's off. One more look at Hartendale Gutter, where I was on one of these short films a few months ago when the big cat was seen further over inland and people said it dropped into the gutter, the land drain that takes water from the land. And what I want to tell you is in the 19, I think the 1970s, a few fishermen would come down here on a night at certain tides and they would set nets out there. And then they'd come back when tide were right with salmon and trout. And they'd go up there on ropes and just disappear into the night. People knew that it was happening, but nobody could catch them. But uh, fascinating. Yeah. The things you find out when you ask the right questions. Here he is, look. Here, Bob. Come on, come on, find him. There we go, good lad. Come on. Absolute shelves of earth just waiting to drop. I have seen a hawk as well, patrolling up and down, but I don't know what it was. Oh, it's there. I don't even know if we'll be able to see it. Let's just follow that. You see it? Maybe. This camera's not the best in the world. There he is. Let's just follow it. Perhaps we won't follow it. We've swapped cameras. We're using P900 because uh, I've uh, flattened two GoPro batteries and I'm not sure where I've put my third one. But there's some nice rock sculptures there and when I came down here there was a seal laid up on rocks and I don't want to disturb him or her it looks like a young grey seal there it is
Must be enjoying that sun. Yeah, just rolling out in it. Enjoying the sun, yeah? Look at him. What do you make of that, Bob? There's no uh, desperate need to get near him. We don't need to disturb him, but look at them. Somebody's been busy. And the seal chose to sort of find his bed bang between them. We could have been made for you. And you can see how bothered he is about us. Okay, we'll end that there. And don't forget, I always say it, but if you like these short uh, bits of film, press the like and subscribe. Just have a little look around your screen now. It's there. Totally free. Just helps us with channel. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you.